This is the full model. These are the different expressions. It's really pretty. Thank you. These are the different expressions that I wanted to go with. I actually had to do a last minute edit for this. Um, as you can notice, I tell there is a shadow behind me. Um, I had to do that because when I was chroma keying the avatar, for some reason there were details that were transparent, even though the artwork was absolutely like filled in and everything. Like, there was nothing wrong with it. I don't know, something happened with the chroma key, but when I just added it, uh, just a shadow background silhouette, it just worked for some reason. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is the normal expression. Um, this is, and then my second one. This is, uh, gonna be more for if I laugh and everything. This is just more and more snarky one. This is just my more serious or angry one. This is my more calm and collected one. And then this is just me absolutely fucking pissed off. <laughs> this avatar actually significantly has less assets than my previous one. So I'm up, uh, I'll pull that up in a sec. Like I have said, I am half black and um, I wanted to create, when I was making the avatar, the previous one and this one, I wanted to have sort of features that express that part of myself and give more pride into it. So last time it was like long flowing curly hair. And this one I wanted to go for more dreadlocks. I, sh I, I have showed this to uh, some of my f uh, friends uh, initially. Uh, one of my friends being Star because she has uh, like, like she loves like her uh, avatar with dreadlocks as well. So I was like showing to her, she was really impressed. Um, but yeah, this is also like going away from the partial dye I had to almost complete Complete die job. And also, uh, <laughs> the eyes. The eyes got details. <laughs> so, the, the different uh, colors, the different changes to the eyes and the hair. I really wanted to get creative with this. Much of this avatar is more closer tied to my idea for, like, sort of the lore I built up for this character. Even though this character is basically just a gender bent version of me and taken with more artistic liberties. But there was stuff I wanted to do with it, so... Yeah. I guess in his own way, you can say I'm one of those VTubers that is all-powerful, but I guess my- if you basically want to know, my power is limited to just, I can create stuff, I'm a fucking artist. That's pretty much it. I'm not an almighty god or anything, it's just... literally just... an artist. That's it. <laughs> pretty much sums it up. And, uh, as for the design itself, if you notice with my this design and my previous design, it is very laid back. Like, I don't really go for much formal wear or like all these like, I don't really go much for this flair or this like regal outfits, I guess, which I see a lot of like different like expressive avatars working with. It's just like, cause that's, I, I don't know. It's not really me. I think it's just like, if I were to be in this space, right? And I had creative control. It's just like, what do I want to look as? And I take liberties, but ultimately, I, I kind of like just casual clothing. One, because it's easy to draw, absolutely. And two, it, I don't know, it looks nice. There's nothing wrong with casual clothing. But yeah, there's, um, this avatar absolutely has less assets than my previous one. And I can load this up. I initially made different expressions for every, every, shift of a key. Every hotkey switch, I made different expressions. But truth be told, I think I honestly made a little too many. Honestly. But that said, I honestly felt like I look I put so much work into this one and here's the thing, right? I put a lot of work into the design of the rebranding of Cafe Autumn and everything. I put so much work into this. If I had more of the energy put into the Avatar, I guarantee you I would have put so much more into it. The Avatar came second, unfortunately. But that said, I still put my, my effort and my time and energy into it. But then it got me to thinking about sort of a plans for future models. So... At this point, almost every year I've made a new model. At this point, there's so much work that goes into them. And I'm thinking, do I want to just continue, like, making a new model every year and then moving on to the next one, making a new model every year and moving on to the next one? Or do I get creative? I figured this. This avatar I have right now, around the fall-winter seasons, 
and to the end of early uh, to the end of that to early spring i stick with this attire however the time of year we have now the spring and summer i come back to this it feels in line and it feels more accurate to how i dress uh honestly irl during these times of years and also that way i'm like not wearing a bunch of heavy and like big clothing during the fucking summer and everything when it's hot but yeah <laughs>